Hello friends, welcome to the first session of manual testing. But before that, welcome to my channel again, Code with me friends. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the basic introduction of manual testing. What is manual testing? Why do we use it? And where do we use it? So speaking about objectives of people, objectives of this video manual testing, we'll be coming across few of the concepts like what is manual testing? What are the types of manual testing and methods to perform manual testing and models of manual testing and last come last but not least application of manual testing so friends in this video i'll be not starting directly with any of the models or methods in this video i'll be explaining the type of i mean the concepts that i'll be uh, coming up uh, coming across in this course era of this manual testing so if you want to watch all the videos of the manual testing request to kindly please check my playlist in my channel okay so speaking about what is manual testing friends manual testing is nothing but a process of manually testing a software for defects it requires a tester to play a role of an end user whereby they use the most of the application feature to ensure correct see friends assume in software department there are two types of team software development and software testing software developers used to develop a software and software testing used to debug the code manual testing plays a prominent role for the software testing departments by ensuring that when you execute a program no bug has to be founded the main objective of this the manual testing is to ensure that at the end of the execution of the submission of the project all the bugs and the scenarios has to be successfully checked and completed testing is a thing about the process of testing if anything bug is found report to the particular development team and they will correct it and check again until and most you have to keep on checking the particular project ensure that every bugs in the program is successfully fixed okay that is called that is the main objective of manual testing so friends Think about what are the types of manual testing. There are several types. That is, black box testing, white box box testing, unit testing, system testing, integration testing, acceptance testing. So, friends, this testing black box, white box. I'll be making separate videos and I'll be uploading in my channel. So, if you want to note down all these testing, friends, request to kindly please check my playlist in the channel. Okay, these are all the types of manual testing. It is performed in order to subject under a verification of a particular project so if you want to i mean i mean the thing i want to say is there is multiple way of testing i mean there are multiple methods multiple techniques that is a project can be tested it can be black box you can you can try with black box white box unit testing system testing integration testing and accept testings okay these are the types of testing that you can perform to a project i'm not going to say that the black boxing is superior than white box you know testing every testing has some kind of advantages that makes it superior compared to that of another one so these are the six types of manual testing i'll pick across each testing in a separate video okay friends so speaking about methods to perform manual testing so friends how do you perform manual testing as i said before read and understand the software project document guides also study the application under test if available i mean if a project is handed over to you and you need to perform a manual testing the first thing you have to do is you have to ensure that you have to be covered from the start of the project and the base of the project you have to be have to be completely read and analyzed so what kind of project it is and if i produce the output what kind of output should, uh, should have been produced what kind of different output has, can be tested to produce a different type of outputs? These kind of crippled scenarios has to be checked under the manual testing. Next, draft test cases cover all the requirements mentioned in the documentation. So, speaking about what are draft draft test cases? Okay, friends. Speaking about draft test cases, it's nothing but see, friends. Assume you found you got a project and you bugged a program with the common outputs now you're trying with a different type of outputs which is completely invalid outputs if the invalid output is entered i have to display something like that this is an invalid input that kind of testing has to be done 
which I'll be covering in the uh, upcoming videos. Okay, when coming to the third part, revive and baseline the test cases with team lead. Okay, next execute the test case on AUT. Okay, and last comes report box. Once the box is fixed, execute in the failing test case and verify the pass. That's it. This is the basic performance of manual testing. Okay, and speaking about models of manual testing. Speaking about, these are not the types of manual testing friends, but these are the models. Models is nothing but each of these waterfall model, B model, agile model, spiral model, rational unified process and rapid application model, nothing but this is a step by step procedure. There are multiple step by step procedure which performs models. I'm not going to say that you can perform manual testing using a waterfall model. You can perform a manual testing using V model or agile model. Something like I'm not trying to say this, this waterfall model is a manual testing. It's a method of model testing. That means you can start by a step by step procedure. For further more details, friends, I'll be uploading this each individually in separate video so that you will have the clear clarity of what are these models and how do they analyze with the manual testing. Okay. And next speaking about tester. Speaking about application of manual testing. Testers manually execute test cases without using automation tools. So speaking about what are these test cases, friends, I'll be executing in the upcoming video. Manual testing is the most primitive of all testing types and helps find bugs in the software system. Any new application must be manually tested before its testing can be automated. So, friends, this is this is this is the common application of testing. And one more thing, friends, in this video, I have not come across anything because if I try to drag all the uh, all the models and methods in in depth details, this video may go up to ten hours. So, in order to breaking it down, so I'll be uploading every individual models and types in a step by step procedure. So, request to kindly please check my playlist. Okay, for further more details regarding the manual testing, please check my playlist. You will have the step by step procedure of how and what can be done. Okay, and thank you, friends. And before going that, if you like this video, request to kindly please like, share, and subscribe this video. Thank you very much, friends. Have a nice day. Keep coding. Love you all.